Okay, today we're going to do a um, data lab, and we're looking at um, doing collecting data, doing a couple different things. So I'm going to do how many jumping jacks I can do in a minute, how many times I can say the alphabet right through in one minute, and how many times I can hop on one foot in one minute. So as an example, let's say that um, I have, I have, uh, I do 25 jumping jacks. So up here, I'm going to have, have 25 jumping jacks, okay, and one in one minute. Okay, and so on my paper here, I would put 25, I got 25, I got 25 jumping jacks. Number two says, write it as a unit rate. Now remember that if I have per one minute, it is the unit rate because the unit rate is per one. So I'm gonna write that here. I'm gonna say, well, I have 25 jumping jacks for every one minute, and that is my fraction, okay? I have 21 in one, so if I come over here, I can say, I have 25 jumping jacks in one minute. And I, it is really a good idea to be labeling when you are doing proportions. It's a big, big help, really helps you out. Okay, uh, number three says, well, if you can do 25 jumping jacks in one minute, how many can you do in 10 minutes? And it says, use a proportion. Now remember, uh, in sixth grade, you learned that a proportion was two equal ratios. So I have to have two things that are equal here, okay? So I have one ratio here, and now I'm making a new ratio, and that new ratio is to 10 minutes. And this is what we call scaling up. So I'm scaling up. I'm taking one minute, and I'm scaling it up. I'm increasing it to 10 times that. Okay, so I'm going to have one minute goes up to 10 minutes. That is times 10. And I have 25 jumping jacks. That also, if these are equivalent, remember they have to be equivalent. They're equivalent ratios. That is what a proportion is. Okay, so they have to be equivalent. And so then I'm going to multiply the top by 10 and 25 times 10 is 250. So here I'm going to write, use a proportion and it says, and I would write that proportion right in here. So, and I'm going to be, I'm going to want to see your work. Okay, so I've increased that 10 times. In number four, it says, well, how much could you do in one hour? So we know that an hour is 60 minutes. So I could take either one of these. I could take 25 to 1 or 250 to 10, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the original ratio. So I have 25 jumping jacks to one minute, right? And so my other side is going to be 60 minutes. So what I would do is I would multiply the top and the bottom by 60. And so I'm using ratios here, uh, two equivalent ratios as a proportion, and I'm going from the unit rate and I'm scaling it up 60 times bigger and then you would find that answer and I'm not going to find it I'm just going to I'm just going to leave that on now number five says what do you think the graph would look like now I'm assuming you've worked in with coordinate planes so what you would do is and there's no negative numbers so we have this we have a coordinate plane okay and of course we have our zero and so we would say, say um, this is one and two and three. 
Well, one would be 25. Two would be 50. And notice I'm going up by 25s every time. Three would be 75. And so I could sketch that graph. And so that's what you're going to do. You're going to see if you have, if there is a, um, if the relationship would be linear as you go up. Okay, so linear, again, let's just make sure we know. Linear, right, means that I'm multiplying. It has the same scale factor. Okay, it's going up by the same amount, the constant rate. goes up by a scale factor, which is the constant rate. Okay, it's going to go up by a constant rate. Okay, and it's going to be a line. I mean, look at, look at the, um, look at the word linear, it's line like, okay. And so that gets you through the first five things that are, that are, uh, to do tasks, which are all about doing math. So number six is, um, is thinking. So in jumping jacks, if I was doing my jumping jacks, what might change my data? Okay, so I did the jumping jacks for one minute, and I did 25. Um, maybe um, my shoes fell off. Would that have affected my time? Um, maybe um, it was really hot out, and maybe I, I was sweating, so I did less. Think of things that would have changed your impact. Don't use mine, but think about um, what would change your impact. Uh, what would impact or change your data? What kinds of things might do that? So this, the last one is a thinking. It's a using my imagination. I'm in this situation where I'm doing jumping jacks. I'm saying the alphabet and I'm hopping on one foot. And I'm thinking about what kinds of variables, what kinds of things would have changed the way the results turned out. Good job.